You know, going to a live concert featuring your favorite artist sounds fun, but what isn't fun is getting stuck in standstill traffic trying to get there. That's what happened at a new outdoor venue in Williamson County where Willie Nelson will take the stage tomorrow night. Management tells us they're working on solutions, but News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen talked with neighbors who are simply fed up. First Bank Amphitheater is one of the largest outdoor music venues in the state. But a traffic issue has neighbors like Jane Sadler fed up. And thanks to the lovely people in Thompson Station, we get stuck with this. You're one mile from Lewisburg Pike. I see traffic not as a means of getting people from point A to point B, but as a health and safety issue. Before the Miranda Lambert concert, music lover Gina Patton was stuck for two hours in traffic. This is insane. This is only a 7,500 seat amphitheater, and it seemed like there was only one way in and out. She also had to park far away when they arrived. It was gravel, and then it was torn up asphalt, and I actually took a little tumble on it. The First Bank Amphitheater CEO emailed me saying they've only had 14 events, so traffic isn't that often. They encourage people to come tailgate early to avoid traffic and read their traffic plan online. It said somewhere in the in the information that the parking lot opens at 12 noon. Who's going to go to a seven o'clock concert at 12 noon? They're working to add an extra lane to Harpeth School and Les Watkins Roads too. The owner of First Bank Amphitheater will be in charge of paying for the lane expansion project to help with traffic. Neighbors don't think it will work. That would require him parking a car every five seconds. Disney can't park a car in five seconds. So you've got to get the people in, you've got to get them parked. I, I think there's still going to be a bottleneck. Jane would like for them to host more Sunday concerts or decrease capacity on weeknights. Help us out because this is in our backyard and we're, we're tired of being disrespected and neglected. Reporting in Thompson Station, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Now, concerts are during the week because they have weddings at Greystone Quarry on Saturdays. There's also a lot of growth in that area. An influx of new homes are being built, which does not help the traffic.